Right, so where are we off to? Abalore. <laughs> Charles Town by Abalore. Abalore, yeah, yeah just the, the have local, a look. Have a look at the, the local town. Speyside Visitor Centre and the Speyside Way if we can. Yeah, I think I'll switch my windscreen wipers off now, can I? And yeah. In a brief interlude between the rain. Yeah. <laughs> so let's right. get going. So we'll go back the way we came yep. yesterday. Okay. Yeah, so the, we're down this little road. Sun's actually quite bright now. Yeah, it seems to have been raining on and off all bloody morning, hasn't it? Okay. Oh. Charlestown of Abalore. I think I put Charlestown by Abalore in the uh, thumbnail yeah, this morning. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, 50 spaces ahead. I'm we'll trying for well, 50 spaces ahead. There was definitely a sign saying Speyside Visitors Centre. Okay. I can't quite remember where it was. Speyside Way, that is. Alice Littler Park. Visitor Centre here. Yeah. Church. Yeah. Old station tea room. Oh. Right, just uh, and park his spot. Right in the corner there. Yeah, not doing it. There's a little map there. I'm going to have a look at that. Yep. Yeah, so that's the Space Side Way, or part of it anyway. So it goes from the Spay Bay, is it? It's right up the top, is yeah. Bucky. Yeah. We're there in Abalore, and it goes down to Abbeymore. Abbeymore, yeah. All right, shall we go and look at the old station? I'm assuming there's a, something over there. Oh, it's a graveyard. <laughs> Couldn't see what it was. Oh, there's a road bridge there, isn't there? Yeah, so definitely this was an old railway track. They're really nice to walk on because they're normally fairly straight and flat. The autumn colours. Yep. Poppy, could you just sort of walk in a straight line <laughs> for once? Yeah, the path's nice and straight. <laughs> yeah. Poppies and... Yeah. So this is supposed to be quite nice. Yeah. I think it's a, it's a hotel as well as a yeah. bar thing. A bit of outside seating. Yeah. Okay. So now here's the old station tea room. Presumably that's the old station Itself, house, is it? it must be. Now lose. It's the church where we came in. Have to walk down by the river. Yeah. This is the old platform, isn't it? All right. You waiting? Fifty years ago, Pop should have been waiting for a train here. Huh. I think you're out of luck if you want the tea room. Tea room appears to be closed. <laughs> Really old uh, water thing. Oh, yeah. Water fountain. Tara says it's closed. Yeah, <laughs> which is a shame because it's dog friendly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Go Never on. Mind tea. You need yeah. a walk. Right, so this is the Alice Littler Park opened in. 1980. Okay. Come on, pups. We'll go down to the river. 
we'll have a look, see what the river has to hold and perhaps have a look at the town a little bit later. Go on. Right, the River Spey is a river in the northeast of Scotland. It is the eighth longest river in the UK, as well as the second longest and fastest flowing river in Scotland. It's pretty fast flowing, yeah. Yeah, it's very important for salmon fishing and whiskey production. That's why there's probably a lot of whiskey distilleries in this area. Yeah. Yeah. So length is 107 miles, yeah. which is 172 kilometers. Wow. And it says it's basin size. Yeah. Does that mean the biggest? The deepest, widest I suppose. Bit yeah, widest. Is 3,008 kilometres squared, which is equal to 1,161 square miles. Right. And its official name is River Spey Dash Irish Marshes. Okay. Okay. Never knew that. Let's go and have a look. There's a bridge up here. Go on then, Pops. Okay. What do you reckon, Pops? It's a bit quieter here. Here is me, so Come on. You do that, Pops. Oh, careful. A little bit. Well done. Alright, Is Tara alright? Yeah. Well done, Tara. Well, watch yourself here, it's a little bit slippy. Yeah. It's nice and peaceful out here in the middle. You feel the bridge move? Yeah. Poppy slowed down then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going. Whoa, whoa. Cool, you can actually feel it. Going up and down quite a bit. There's some telephone cables going across there. Is that what that is? All in the view. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. But very nice. Take some pictures. Oh, perhaps we'll go over the old bridge. Be the old road going over it. Yeah. And when the station was closed, 64, something like that. Probably. You know, the victim of Beat, Dr. Beeching. Yeah. I volunteered Jenny to have a go on the slide. <laughs> she wasn't keen. I think I'm too old. <laughs> Otherwise, I would do. Poppy could have a go. Come on. Come on. That would have, would have been quite something, wouldn't it, with the railway going along here and yeah. by the river? Yeah. Come on, T. Look at you. Now we're talking. <laughs> Come on, you don't look very open. September to October. <laughs> Close to October. Ah, oh, yeah. You're right. The Chinese here. Go up over there. That's where we went in, wasn't it? Gardens. Yeah, that's where we went in. This is the... Spey Larder. Spey Larder. Okay. Now he's actually open. Spey Larder hampers. Yeah. That's how live it. Big old church here. And a manse, which Jenny tells me that's like a vicarage. I think it is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not putting you under pressure there? No, no. That's to be told it's wrong. Jenny wants me to point out that the Abalore takeaway is there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, someone needs a takeaway. The ironmonger's shop here. Yeah. Little sort of shop, isn't it? Yeah, it was useful. They do Calagas there, by looks of it. 
that we come through the graveyard. Young pups. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? A bit of a wall and a bit of a chapel. Yeah, it's obviously yeah. bigger originally. Yeah, it's a good idea. I don't think we can get back to the car park this way, but anyway, I like a good graveyard. It's where we'll all be one day. <laughs> so this is the older part, isn't it? Come on. Oh, the bridge over there. The bridge there, and it looks like some sort of bridge over there. We're trapped in here. And we're trapped. You have to climb over the wall. Yeah, that gate's shut. Yeah, we're trapped in here. Yeah, that's it. We'll catch up with you later then. It's going to oh, be pops. like Assassin's Creed, isn't it? Yeah, and it's going to say, I think you, you need the key. I don't think you do need the key. I think you just need to pull it. Oh, there you go. Really. I think there's lots of lovely walks here. Yeah. Can we go back that way? Or? Yeah, I might be able to. Go I think on, we can. Until we come across another wall. Yeah. What do you see, Pops? Very peaty water. Come on. <laughs> but I thought it was just going to come to an end with that fence. To so escape the graveyard. Yeah. Literally, it literally <laughs> and figuratively. So we're back on the uh, straight side, side walk. walk. Yeah. Back that way, I think. Yeah. So we're going to sit on this bench, and we're going to give you some facts and figures. Some history. Oh, some history. Yeah. Okay. Poppy. Need to get my leg over. There you go. Come on. Right, just rest here a while. Here was some history. Yeah, it says a site noted as A B I R L A U R is shown in this location on maps in Joan Bla Blaze. Atlas of Scotland from the 17th century. The current village, Charlestown of Abelor, was founded by Charles Grant of, I'm going to get this wrong, Eccles, E-L-C-H-I-E-S, in 1812 with the name of Charlestown of Abelor. <coughs> oh. And it says it's commonly referred to simply as Abelor. Yeah. Grant of land from Charles Grant Senior um, allowed 100 plots along the south bank of the river and saw the start of the High Street, formerly Main Street, and a parish church. Josh. And it says that it, the whiskey was a major industry even then, and once the 1823 Excise Act was passed and a longer warehousing process introduced, it began to take on a more mature characteristic that are familiar today. Okay, so okay. The, f the first distillery here was about 1823. Yeah. And it just sort of goes on to talk about other things around here. It talks about the Craig Alaki. Yeah, no, I can't say it either. <laughs> that was built by Thomas Telfer, and that's two, two miles north Craig to the Alaki. town. Yeah. We just managed to say all of that, we're just <laughs> <laughs> with the dog walkers and uh, joggers going past. Yeah, I know, I know. If only we had sort of like a studio crew or something. That's it. You have to sort of hold, stop everyone. Yeah, stop the path for a while and yeah, hold the right. traffic. Yeah, Get the lighting right and the yeah. sound right. Yeah, if yeah, only. If only, yeah. <laughs> In 170 yards, bear right then at the T-junction, turn left onto the A95. Okay. Right. <laughs> We're going to go to, I'm going to try and pronounce this, but here goes. Craig Galaki. Craig Galaki. Craig Galaki. Craig Gellacky Bridge. It's two right. miles north two of the miles. town. Yeah. Speedside Gardens. That's where, that's our campsite. Yeah. Another way in then. Yeah. Yeah, we thought we'd stop at the Keith and Dufftown Railway. We thought coffee. Coffee, do a little cafe. Cafe open, open daily, 10 till 4. We're in time. Then, Close because Mondays. we've come on a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
we'll have a quick look. Trains Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> yeah, so the Isla Walk. Okay, we'll have a look, see what see what we got here. Got a couple of DMUs. That's good. That's the first class compartment, no dogs. <laughs> Lovely smell of diesel oil. from Keith to Dufftown, surprisingly enough. Got Whitby on the uh, train signboard. That's a shame. There's a Bolveni distillery there. quite interesting. We'll have to come back here when they are running some trains, I think. In it. Go down here. Yeah, it's a There was no sign for it, was there? No. Sailing past it would have been all the way to Dufftown and back. <laughs> I'm exaggerating. Been to the cafe that's not open. Been to the railway that's not open. How about the bridge that's not open? The bridge is open. I'll walk up there. There's an information port. Yeah, there's a rabbit's bus. Craigalachie Bridge. So it's probably the oldest surviving cast iron bridge in Scotland. It was cast at Plaskynaston in Wales, transported by canal, sea and wagons here. The local story of the bridge was actually made for somewhere else but ended up here. Hence the, be the sharp bend in the old road at the far end, built by this guy. Thomas Telford. Let's go and have a look. It's over there. Yeah, but you can get to see it down oh, here. Oh, all right, okay. Come on, go on. And donate as well, we'll do that in a minute. There we are. That's quite something, isn't it? It does remind me a bit of the um, Iron Bridge at, at um, Iron Bridge. <laughs> the Iron Bridge at Iron Bridge. Yeah. yeah. That's what it's called, isn't it? Yeah. There's the new bridge. There's a bit of a beach here, perhaps. There we go. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? Poppy says there's a beach here. just start to rain. Yeah, it's quite a sharp turn at the other end. Yeah, it just sort of goes at right angles, isn't it, the old road? Yeah. Look how peaty the water is. Yep, it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> so I think traffic used to go over this until about 1963. Okay. Which would have been amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, hang on. Sure, we could get the up over here. Oh yeah, I could certainly drive the little car up here. And then knock down the bollard. Yeah, we'd probably get through the bollard then. <laughs> Coming down quite heavy now. Cast up Plast, Canaston, Rubon, Denbyshire. Denbyshire. Yeah, just said that. Oh, did you? I'm oh, sorry. There's an echo in here. 
You know, you keep repeating me, you do. <laughs> I'm gonna look at this one then. Nineteen seventy two it was closed. All right. So is this was open until seventy two then? Yeah, wow. I thought it was sixty three. It was um, work was done and it's sixty three four bypassed and closed. Oh, it's bypassed then sixty three. Yeah. yeah. And closed to all traffic nineteen seventy two. Right. So it was in use till quite relatively recently. Till we were seven. Yeah, I suppose they'd have to have had traffic lights, wouldn't they? Yeah. And there's a bit more about it. 14th of September 1994, the Queen's own Highlanders, Seaforth and Camerons, and the Gordon Highlanders met on this bridge of Sino Unity prior to the formation of the Highlanders. Seaforth, Gordons and Camerons, three days later at Dreghorn Barracks, Edinburgh. Okay. Hi. Oh. Oh. <laughs> It is like the one at Anglesey, isn't it? These towers. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, all right, Pops, the road goes around there, doesn't it? Go on then. I love things like this. Yeah. It's obviously bits falling off the uh, side here. And there it is then. Goes on, join the rest of the old road there. Quite amazing, even in the rain. <laughs> but I mean, it's, it's funny, isn't it? You see these old bridges, and the effort they went to, they put in turrets, you know, yeah. to make it, to blend it into the, you know, the Scottish countryside. That's right. You didn't need to do that, did you? No, and how they've like, I mean, that's 1814, isn't it, that yeah. was first built? Yeah, and you look at the modern bridge over there, and it's just it's a lump sore. of concrete. Yeah. With a bit of with steel on it. Suspect that the Telford Bridge will be here long after that's gone. Yeah, there you go. That was the old road. What do you reckon, Pops? Hey? Do you like this old road? Yeah. And back over. I think that's the Speyside Way down there. Or that little path. Yeah. Yeah, you can see how the road. You're getting wet. Around. You're getting wet. She's getting wet. She oh, you're getting wet, you tea. You better get back to the car then. up the A95. That was the a, like a pub I saw on, quite nice. And this one here? Closed or something. something. Fidditch yeah. side. Yeah, so I think this is close to where we're meeting uh, David, David from Desmond's Dompers. That's right, yeah, on Thursday.